subject today as the Lord would have me to praise God. Rejoice in the Lord. Always. I think we had it for convention one year. Rejoice in the Lord. Always. And again, I say, rejoice. Hallelujah. We just sung a moment ago that trouble don't last always. And we're so glad. I don't know who wouldn't be glad. Hallelujah. Even the devil is sorry that he's in trouble. But he can't get out of it again anyway. So he has to deal with it. But it's called trouble. Rejoice in the Lord. This passage of scripture in this level of encouragement for those that are not born again, it's kind of hard for them to grasp the magnitude of what we're saying. Because to the natural man that's going through a lot of stuff, we're talking as it were foolishness. What is it that is there to rejoice about? They would say. And even some weak Christians whose faith have been shaken because their times of faith is shaken. Come on now. And sometimes it, it shook so bad that we're so low that even when we know it's a good word and it's the right word at that moment when we are receiving it, our flesh say, what are you saying? What is there to rejoice about? Haven't you heard? Hallelujah. How many remember after Jesus raised from the dead? And the two men were walking on Amos Road. And they were talking and discussing. And Jesus drew near and joined the company. And they were talking about how they crucify him who's supposed to save us. And Jesus said, what manner of conversation are you having? And they said, wait a minute here. Where you came from? Haven't you heard how they crucify the king of kings? He should have saved us. Are you a stranger in this place? And Jesus, the Bible said, upbraid them and said, how oh, are oh, oh, you slow to, 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 to receive that which was given unto you? And he talked with them and encouraged them. In that moment, they see no need to rejoice. How many times in our own personal lives that situation comes up? Don't get quiet in me now because it's the truth. I didn't say we don't know that we should rejoice. We know it. But at that moment, at that time, somebody may have a smile on their face, but it's not you. Somebody may feel comfortable in their heart, but it's not you. You are troubled. You are overcome by grief, by pain, by tragedy, by sickness, by whatever it is that is uncomfortable and your spirit and your soul and your body is not in the place that you should rejoice but thanks be to God for the power of the Holy Spirit that when we get to that place he will slap us and knock us and wake us up and say rejoice in your God and again I say rejoice oh hallelujah because it's not based on our circumstance you see we are happy people but being happy is temporary being happy comes and being happy goes happy don't stay all the time because if happy don't have stuff happy gone Happy is built on stuff. Happy foundation is stuff and things. And when things is not there, happy leave. And when things come back, happy come back. You can't get rid of happy when you have things. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. So you see, 
Happy treat us the way happy want to treat us. And we won't learn how to treat happy. To let happy know, you ain't going to trick me this time. Because I have something you draw in here. <laughs> Hallelujah. And when the something finish and done and go, you run away and leave me in a sad state. Can I get a witness here? So we are not talking about being happy. Because happy comes and happy goes. But joy, joy, and speak of joy. Joy stay with you when you have it. Joy stay with you when you don't have it. Joy stay with you when you feel like you hop and you hop. And joy abides with you even when you're down. Joy is not built on circumstances, not built on things. Oh, can I get a witness here? It's a deep seated, hallelujah, deep seated, heartfelt, spirit led that God placed in our spirit uh, through the power of the word uh, through positive thinking uh, and when I say positive thinking uh, I mean positive spiritual thinking uh, can I get a witness here when you're thinking whatsoever is just uh, whatsoever is pure uh, whatsoever is right uh, whatsoever is true uh, can I get a witness here if there be any virtue uh, if there be any praise uh, we can think uh, on these things oh hallelujah Joy is so serious that even when everybody forsake you, <laughs> joy, and you're singing that you're nobody's child. Joy say you lie, are you? <laughs> oh, remember that song years ago? I'm nobody's child. I'm just like a flowers, flowers going by. Yes, even when you say you are nobody's child. Joy said, stop it. Because everybody may forsake you and leave you and gone. But I'm right here with you. Can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness in the house? Joy comes and reassure you that in spite of everything, I'm right here with you. Glory to God. When you're in the hospital, and first time in my adult life, I've been to the hospital, when you're in the hospital, and all the phone calls are getting everybody talking to you, but after a while, the phone calls stop. And after a while, the nurses stop coming in. <laughs> and after a while, it's just you. And you alone. Can I get a witness here? No phone ringing, no nurse coming in, no doctor. It's just you and you alone. And, and, and if you follow your feelings, you feel like you're rejected and dejected uh, and left alone uh, to die. Can I get a witness here? But as a believer in Christ Jesus Christ, uh, you don't pray to die. You keep God glory uh, and honor and praise. Uh, you take that lonely moment uh, to sink yourself uh, deeper. In Can I get a witness here? To say, Lord Jesus, uh, wash me, uh, cleanse me, uh, make me whole. And Lord, if you see anything, uh, that need to be clean clean me up just in case you're ready for me oh can I get a witness here oh hallelujah and the joy of the Lord become your strength mm, you're not lonely because joy stays with you he's your company and your friend when your friend leave you why don't you recognize him? You see, happy, like I say, happy come and happy go. Happy leave you, but joy remain. And many times, we allow happy to drown out joy. We pull for joy when happy run away. Can I get a witness here? You know, when you, have, when you are blessed in God financially, materially, you must still harness your joy. Because it's that joy is going to help you to navigate your way. Because it's that joy that's going to give you the ability to overcome happy. Because you have joy, it doesn't prevent happy from coming. Because happy is a lover of things. Happy is a spender. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear what I say. Happy only come when you have something to spend. Something to give. Something to waste. Can I get a witness here? <laughs> happy, let a lot of people know you. When you have stuff. 
when you're on your face, joy alone stay down there with you. <laughs> hey, they don't even know if you exist. It's only you and joy. Can I get a witness here? <laughs> Hallelujah. Can't find happy. But the moment joy calls you to think positive and you believe in God and stuff so float your way, guess what happened? Happy shows up. And you are so happy to see happy. That you can discern. Church, listen to me. This is real. We have to learn to discern where we were to where we are now. We got to stop being foolish. It happened too many times. You're going to know where the Lord brought you from. And you got to look back, not in terms of looking back, but analyze where the Lord brought you from. And who helped you when nobody would help you. I get a witness here. And I'm not even talking about man, I'm talking about God. When man wouldn't look at you, and God pick you up. Can I get a witness here? And pick you up in a way where he bless Harry or bless Mary or bless Sally and say, bless, bless, bless. But somehow he turned your situation around. And then all of a sudden, happy show up. Because happy wait for something to come on board. Because happy is not cheap. And happy is lazy. Happy doesn't work. Happy enjoy. Happy enjoy stuff. Happy reach out for stuff. Happy never angry. Happy is always smiling. The day happy get hungry, he's gone. I don't want to put a gender on it. The day happy get hungry, it's gone. Did you hear what I say? But as long as you have supply, happy. Have ever happened to you? You give, 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 and we don't forgive. Yeah. When you used to give, everybody, you, you can't see your way. <laughs> if your hanky drop, then pick it up for you. <laughs> Woo! Can I get a witness here? Uh, am I talking right? I said, but I, I need to go buy this mug and say, oh, uh, cousin, auntie, uncle, whatever they call you, I'll go for you. Talk to me. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, you never been there. And for whatever the reason, it comes a time when you find yourself as if, you know, stuff is not what it used to be. And now you can see clearly because the way is clear. There ain't nobody in the way. Ain't nobody want nothing from you. Ain't nobody seeing hear you. And you push and God help you. You struggle and God help you. And you go on. And then all of a sudden, the Lord lets things start. The river start to flow again. And stuff starts to come in again. And you look blessed again. And all of a sudden, you, you see happy. Happy hasn't called for 13 months. And all of a sudden, the phone is ringing. And he's happy. Am I talking right here? I'm showing you something here. And we don't take time to assess ourselves. And say, wait a minute, six months ago, I was kind of down and out. And nobody looked at me. And all of a sudden now, because I, 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 I help myself, figure my way. And all of a sudden, oh, everybody now is coming. Oh, or everything is showing up. We, we don't do that. We are so eager and so willing to suppress joy. And to give ha happy the opportunity to take over. Failing over the same lesson over and over again. It happens to you. It happens to me. It happens to us. It happens to all of us. We keep failing over the same exam over and over again. And only joy bail us out. Only joy bring us out. Only joy stay with us. It's about time to embrace joy. When happy come, let him know you have your joy. Because when you suppress joy and happy comes and you give happy its way and happy is gone, what happened? You begin to discourage because it was all about what you have. 
Am I talking right? You see, Job had joy. And he had joy. And when happy shows up, talk to me here. Job gave like nobody else. He was hands to those who didn't have hands. Read your Bible. He was eyes to those who couldn't see. He was feet to them who could not walk. He was mouth for them who couldn't speak. Ears for them who couldn't hear. And Job did it. And the enemy said to God, I'm going to show you that this guy just loved you because of things. And he took, by God's permission, he took everything from Job. Talk to me here. And happy, all the happy, all of them who he was their eyes, foot, ears, and nose. I know I'm preaching right. <laughs> they pack up and they go. I'm going to say something. Don't, don't read it wrong. Church, we get, you know, especially we that are at this age and maybe older than myself, you, you have the experience, you may have the experience, and if you could do it again, maybe you wouldn't foolishly do it again. We got to wise up. Oh, you didn't hear that. You, you got to wise up. You can expend all your energy and time and your youth and folks and situation, and when it's your turn, you're getting quiet, but I'm preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. When it's your turn, you could make all the sacrifice you want in the world. And you wouldn't sleep. You wouldn't, you wouldn't take a rest because this got to be done and that got to be done. And hey, when it's your turn, oh, can I get a witness here? You ain't seen nobody. You, ain't, you have to be begging and scrubbing and asking a million times a time. And sometimes, you know what? You suffer because you don't want to watch. You refuse to ask because you know when you used to do it, you do it with all your heart. You do it with all your soul. You do it with all your mind. And when you get to that place where you need it, uh, and you have to be asking 100 times, uh, you refuse uh, to carry yourself through that mud. Uh, and you say, God, uh, you are my deliverer. Send help. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. You're happy. Pack up. And leave Job. And the enemy says, see it? But Job have joy. Deep down. He knew his happiness. Or what happy thought. Was not based upon the things he possessed. He knew that all his wealth and riches. And all his possession. Was not the source of his joy. And the enemy took everything. And Job said, the Lord gave. And the Lord take it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the enemy went back a second time. And he took Job, wife, mind. And he told her, tell your husband, curse God. He took Job, children. He took Job, body. He broke it out in sores. He said, curse God now. But Job knew. Job knew like he knew. That happiness was never his friend. He got the joy of the Lord. Which was his strength. He said, I know. I know. I know. That my Redeemer is still alive. And though he slay me. And and though he slay me, and though he slay me, and though he slay me, yet, yes, yes, I will trust him. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad. Put your hands together and tell the Lord, thank you. I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to rejoice. I'm gonna rejoice. I'm going to rejoice. Hallelujah. Because I'm on a mission. I'm supposed to tell folks that the Lord is at hand. Isn't it in your Bible? I don't have time to suck. This time that we're living in, when it's said to rejoice, they say, what's wrong with you? Rejoice about what? Huh? Happy is miserable right now. Because happy 
Can't buy new furniture. Even if you have the money, you're wasting your time. Can you ain't getting it? We're still waiting for a freezer from sometime, how much months now? And he can't come. From last year, and he can't come. Almost a year now, and he can't come. They took money, and he can't come all now yet. Can I get a witness here? Happy? Ain't happy? Can I get a witness here? <laughs> oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. We have a mission to tell the world in this troubled time that the Lord Jesus Christ is at hand. We are worrying about this and worrying about that. May I preach here today? Let me tell you something, church. We got one life to live and that life must be lived in Jesus Christ. And virus are not virus. We got one life and this heart to live. And while I live, I don't give God glory. While I live, I don't give God praise. While I live, I go bless his name. One day we go die. Oh, you can put up yourself. One day we go die. If God chose it so, can I get a witness here? But today is not that day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I must rejoice and be glad. I can't keep on. I can't keep on. I can't keep on. Ah, my moderation must be to tell everybody Jesus is coming. Hey, I announce Corona is here. I announce variance is coming. Our variance is here. Let me tell you something. Jesus is at hand. My God is about to show up. And I get a witness here. That's my mission. That's my message. That's my calling. To let you know that Jesus is here. So, I got to tell Happy, leave. Because it's not going to work. Can I get a witness here? Hallelujah. Because I, I'm told to rejoice. Not only when things get good. But always rejoice. And Job passed through that and proved to the enemy by God's grace and strength that happy, you're not going to win. Happy, have a way of leaving you empty. He's very good at that. It's very good at that, rather. A way of leaving you empty inside out happy don't let you buy what you need happy let you buy what you want <sighs> talk to me here church happy give your sympathy for everybody except for yourself can I preach here today it took me a long time to get to that place. So I'm not preaching on you, I'm preaching on me too. It took me a long time to realize that happy, let me sorry for everybody except me. That happy, let me help everybody except me. That happy, let me take my last dollar and give it away and walk. Oh, yeah. Woo! Hallelujah. Happy say when you do it, you will look good. And they will love you. Lord, yes. Can I preach here? Woo. Ah, yeah. Happy cloud my vision. Don't want me to see what I need to do for me. So, so, so I can be in a better place to help somebody. Happy says, help them, help them, help them. <laughs> Talk to me here. Took me a long time to come around. Thank you, Jesus. To realize that, hey, wait a minute here. Who? He's looking out for you. Hallelujah. Who's looking out for you? You're fixing everybody. You're fixing everything. What about you? After a while, strength for 2020 is not the same strength 
for 2021. Talk to me. Strength for 2015 is not the same strength for 2020. Talk to me here. Who is looking out for you? And if you had $10,000 in 2015 and you let happy, let you just keep it. And everybody got a problem. They come to the problem solver. You don't like what I'm preaching, but I'm preaching what God gave me to preach. And they come to the problem solver. And they pour out all the complaint. And all the problem. And all the issue. And the problem solver. Happy say, go ahead. Happy say, go on, man. That was from 2015. And from 2015 to 2021, that's it, about 60, am I right? And if you were keep pulling from that 10,000, from 15 to 21, go check now. I said, go check. And when you check and realize, oops, it's way down there. You say, wait a minute. I have to change my behavior. No, 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 no. This is, I wasn't realizing that this was happening. And when you change your behavior, you notice happy start to slight you. And happy call become one and few now. Until it dwindled down to one time a month. Until it got to one time every three months, every quarter, till it got to twice a year. Till if it stays along one time a year, until you don't hear no more sound. Talk to me. Talk to me here. That's how happy leave you empty. And let me tell you something, church. After a while, you muster up, you build back, you set yourself happy hand that you're on good footing. You are, when I was a kid, they teach us a little memory gem. Oh, I don't know, I gotta say, good morning, Mr. Chess. I am back again. For these two long years, I haven't seen you. Happy say I'm back again. And we fall over. The same. The Bible said, uh, we must love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And we're doing it back way. We're not doing it right way. We are love the neighbor. Let's know how we love ourselves. Because don't get quiet to me. More than how we are doing things for neighbor that we would not do for ourselves. Amen. Am I talking right? Don't you know? I grew up in a household. And if me doing that some point, point since I'm by my wife, they cut the nonsense out. You have the wonderful china. It's filled with nice. I hang glass and drinking glass and all that kind of stuff. You never drank out of one of them yet. You work. You bought it. You put it in there. You have never took one and pour some water and drink it. And if your husband, your wife, your children ever cross a line and touch it, oh Lord have mercy. And yet, Harry from Larry came over. Don't know how you bought it. Don't know how you get it. And you run in there and take out the best and put it on the table. And your husband and your wife and your children who are entitled to enjoy it. They can't touch it. But Harry from Larry and Susie from Sally come over and enjoy it. Oh God of mercy. Hallelujah. That's loving our neighbor more than how we love ourselves. That's not what the Bible says. He said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Do unto others as you have them do unto you. Drink out of it. Sleep in it. Sit in it. Enjoy it. For when you're dead, you're dead. You can't enjoy it. Happy, happy, leave you empty. And we fall over the same thing over and over again. Because we're trying, I didn't say you, I said we trying to look good. 
If somebody loves you for things, stop wasting your time. That's not real love. Because when things finish, love finish. Oh, <laughs> come on, come on. People not to love you for all you can do for them. They must love you for who you are. Love you for who you are. Because when, that's why you have some friends that some folks can't take. But it doesn't bother you. Because you understand your friend. And you love your friend for who they are. Oh, they're not perfect. But, but you, but you but come on. That, 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 that's her. That's him. No, no, don't worry about it. You understood them. You understand them. And you love them and appreciate them for who they are. Not for what they can do for you, but for who they are. So you take them with their shortcoming, and you take them with their long coming. You take them with their ups, you take them with your down. Can I get a witness here? Whatever they comes with, you take it all. I said, you are my friend. As a person, I love you for who you are. Can I get a witness here? Happy don't behave that way. Happy, love you for what you can do. And when you can't do nothing more, happy say, find another victim. Happy look for a victim, you know. You know. <laughs> oh, glory to God. And, and, if you, and, and can I appreciate Sometimes, you know, I, I don't know. If, if you never experience it, then maybe you, you ought not to say it. You don't know. But listen, sometimes we're so hungry, hungry for love. Hungry for love. And hungry for attention. My man, love yourself. Man, that's what the Bible says. I mean, the Bible, love yourself. Hug yourself. Shake yourself. Love yourself. Look in the mirror and say, You, I love you. Can I get a witness? Uh, go and complain about who don't love me. I don't care who don't love me. I love me. I sing to me. I talk to me. I can I get a witness here? I bless the Lord for me. Because when I love myself, I'm not starved for love. Can I get a witness here? And a matter of fact, if you don't love yourself, you can't receive love. You got serious problem. When people will start to love you, can you believe they want something? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. You have to learn to love yourself and treat yourself right. Look out for the best interest of yourself. Take very good care of yourself. I love you, but I'm not giving you the one party and go drink water. I'm sorry. No, but, but, but that's not Bible. We, we, we take this thing oh, oh, overboard. I'm not giving him my one, one beef patty. I'm going to drink water. So you can go and say, oh, Bishop Nathan is a kind man. You know, he was hungry and he had only one patty. And he gave me it all. And say, see, no. I'm not giving it even half. I'm serious. I'm giving you a quarter. Why am I giving you a quarter? Because you couldn't afford to buy one. And if I give you half, I may not survive on half. I have the ability to buy a dozen more. So I need three quarters to get the strength to go buy a dozen more. To help some people who can't afford to buy one. So I cannot afford to give you half. I'm just catching you up. I hope you survive. That's what the Bible says. You love yourself. God wasn't selfish about it. He didn't say just love me and don't love everybody. Else. He said love yourself. Don't make yourself an idol. But if you go help somebody, you have to first help yourself. You can't down here and help everybody. Come on, wake up and help yourself. Oh God of mercy. Talk. Woo! If you want to help folks, start help yourself. Because you're better able to help. Woo! Talk to me here. We got, we got, uh, we got I worked in the security for many years in the island. We got a dog. We got, we got a baton. And the guard. So, it's one dog, it's a long baton that they gave me, and it's me, all three of us. Now the baton came for your bullet, 
You have to be in close distance for me to hit you. Talk to me here. And the dog is now his maker. He can smell you from 100 feet away. And he can hear you from 200 feet. So when the thief comes, they're looking where the dog is. Because in their mind, wherever the dog is, that's where the guard is. Not for this guard. My first week on the job, I realized I see my fellow coworker coming out with sprained ankle, broken shoulder, hopping. I said, what happened? Last night, they came to break the place. Because we're working at a big place uh, where you have shoes factory, lumber, all kinds of stuff. The Matalans, they are a big place. And, and I saw them coming up, mash up, and them wounded and the dog wounded. So what's, what's going on? I was on the day shift. I'm took over from them. They are so bruised and battered. This, that, they're going to hide. The dog, they're to change. They're to, they're, to, they're to come with new dogs and give me a new dog and take out that dog. He's sick, he's broken up, whatever. I said, oh, I said, go. So when they changed me to the night shift, because in the day it's not bad. Too many folks and gone and all that stuff. When they changed my shift to the night shift, they said, all right. They didn't give me a gun. They said, give me a button. They gave me a dog, and it's me. And they said, you're, you're securing the lumber. And cedar and mahogany in the island is precious. The thief will take you out to get just one piece. And I went up to the lumber yard, big place in the lake, and I surveyed. I said, good. I wasn't looking for a place to put the dog. I was looking for a place to put myself. A place where I can see clearly. And behind me there's an escape route. I'm, 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 telling, I'm talking about loving yourself. Yes, they're paying me. I am not neglecting my duty. I'm on the watch. But a piece of stick and a dog can't handle two guys with guns. So I am fully aware of that. So I look and I observe. I find me an area where when I, and I wasn't this big, you know, so you can imagine. I find me an area where I can just slid in way up under some lumber. And at the back where the lumber stopped, there's an escape route somewhere around there. Just in case. And the dog, he's about 30 feet from me. Where I can see my time is just over there. So. Because I'm not going to just hit him. So when they come and run into me, because that's what they do first. They run to this kid, they know where you are. And this is, not, this is reality. And when they come, they're coming over the fence. It's right behind Casey, terrible place. They're coming over. Let me tell you something. The dog sense and smell them, and he start barking. And it's, it, the dog is jumping forward. He wants to get off the leash. He wants to get to me. Because when he get to me, then he will turn around, and he will start. He's waiting on me to say, get him. And he jumped on the rail, and they came. They said, we see the dog. Where's the guard? I'm hearing them. I'm peeking out at them. They can't see me. I'm too far back behind the lumber. Impossible for them to see me. And they pick out the three and four pieces, put them on their shoulder, and they go. And I, I don't bother to fool myself and come out to go look. Because it's 2 a.m. in the morning. What move, what don't move. I stay right there and pray to Jesus. And ask Jesus not to let them come back. And the dog stay right where he is. Bark and moan and groan and sleep. And when the six o'clock and the sun coming out, I take my own time and come out. Brush off myself. Talk to me here. Do my wrongs. And register in the book. Church. My boss is in his bed. You didn't hear what I said. I have seen a lot of my fellow worker who get damaged. There is no such thing like in America but disability. When they mash you up, you mash up. And you go and go park. So I got to love me. 
I got to look out for me. Talk to me here. I'm, it's not dishonest. It's for real. And it get bad one day until somebody came to steal. And in the middle of the day, and I was securing the gate, and the guy passed me, and he had a gun in his waist, and he, he looked at me so I could see. Then he said, "Hell, Gaudi." I said, "Hell," and he's gone. I'm talking about loving yourself because you can't help somebody to help yourself. And he went up to the textile factory and he cut the wire and he took out two rolls of cloth, four rolls of cloth, a matter of fact, two on this shoulder, two on this shoulder. Somebody said, call the boss and tell him that the, the guy is cutting the wire. They call him, he said, why are you calling me? There's a guard at the gate. That's what I pay for, security. Can't blame him. The guy coming down, the roll of cloth coming down, gone out. You get to the gate, I open the gate. He said, heal, get out of me. He said, heal. <laughs> I have my wife. You think me go make people shoot and kill me? For two roll of cloth. I love myself. I would not be here preaching today if I was foolish enough to send me loving people. Can I get a witness here? Come on. I tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. My boss came. Police came. My boss was an inspector in the army. Big general in the army. And he came with a whole bunch of police and soldiers. The guy gone a long time. And he came and they flood the place. And Mr. Lazarus said, told him, you, we have to take this contract from you because this God, or you have to change this God. And he come and he says, Nathan, what's going on here? I said, nothing, sir. He said, what do you mean by nothing? Look out in the yard, all these places. I said, because a guy came and he stole some material, sir. Then what were you doing? I said, sir, I saw him. Why didn't you stop him? I said, with what? <laughs> stop him with what? He said, what do you mean by it? What? You have the dog? You have a button? I said, yes, he have a gun. <laughs> what am I? But that's what we have here. I said, fire me right now. <laughs> Pay me and fire me. Because he got a gun. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm talking the truth in the house of God. He have a gun. I have a button and a dog. You figured it out. I said, furthermore, sir, you got here by driving. When I leave here, I have to walk to take the bus. So I am not going to put myself in danger and in jeopardy. He looked at me good. He shook his head. What am I going to do with you? He never fired me. He knew I was a Christian. He knew I was honest. But I am not going to put myself in danger. For what? They have insurance. Insurance can't cover that. Can I get a witness here? I'm not going to hurt myself. I will take the report. I will write it down. But I'm not going to be any Arnold Schwarzenegger. He got a big gun in the movie. I, I got a piece of stick. I ain't not going to stop anybody. I'm not Sylvester Stallone. I'm just a child of God. Can I get a witness who love myself and love my God and love the things of God? You can't help nobody if you don't practice to help yourself. Takers do not have reservoirs on the helpers. Oh, Jesus. Takers do not have well on the helpers. Takers do not have springs on the helpers. Takers come to take and you have to have a reservoir, a spring or a well to keep taking up and give. Taking up and give. Can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness here? At times you have to check your well. Is water still springing up? Check your reservoir. Is it still running low? Check your spring. Is it drying up? Can I get a witness here? You want the good man, he ain't gonna work. Because after a while, you can't help you and nobody ain't gonna help you. Can I get a witness? Oh, Bishop, what are you saying here? Ah, uh, it's tough. But it's true. And therefore, we can't rejoice in the Lord always. 
Because we squander the blessing. Can I get a witness here? We use it foolishly. Can I get a witness here? And instead of thinking on whatever things are just and honest and pure and true and lovely, we start to think negative. Because the pressure takes us now. And we can't figure our way out. I can tell you how to start doing that. Start loving yourself. Start thinking about your own future. Start saying, hey, assess where you are and say, wait a minute here. I should have gone further. But never too late for a show offering. We got to start from somewhere. Am I talking right? So start from right where you are. I said, no, man. Mm -mm -mm. Got to, got to. I was talking to a pastor a couple of years ago. And he said, he said, Nathan, may I have to hurry up, you know? <laughs> Mr. Hurry up. He said, late. He said, Mr. Hart, late. Mr. Hart, Mr. Hart, Mr. long time. He said, you're a young man, but Mr. Hart, start long time. He said, Mr. Hart, but me never do the right thing. But no, me have to hurry up. Because me get whole. He just don't put me. me so he said, you can't walk, but me can't walk, no. Me have to run. Run, walk. Am I talking right? Even if you're at this stage where you have to run, walk, start, run, walk, no. Can I get a witness here? Get a hold of yourself and start, run, walk. Because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. You don't know, how, you don't know where your destiny is going to be. You don't know how much longer the Lord is going to have you in the face of the earth. And since you don't know, let's walk by faith and start, run, walk. Let's walk by faith and start putting things right. Let's walk by faith and start fixing up. When he call us, he call us. But right now, we are here. Let's do it. Hallelujah. And make happy go about its business. Tell happy they fired. Not go work anymore. Because I got to love myself. I got to take care of myself. What good in treating people right and treat yourself like a rags? What is that? Breeze a blow, they can walk straight. Breeze a blow, you turn over. What kind of nonsense is that? Oh, yeah. Buy the best for him, for her, and I'd be take the cheapy cheapy for you. Yeah. After a while, you won't be able to handle it. Right. Talk to me, man. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. You gotta focus. Okay. Focus, man. No. If you go help somebody, help yourself first. No. Huh? A lot of folks try to save you from drowning and end up drowning, and the people don't save you. Come out. Because they're never going with the wisdom to know how to grab that person properly so that person won't drown them. They're just going, just going with that. Come on. Come on. Look at you and assess you. That's what the Bible said. If we go rejoice any at all in God, we have to assess who we are. Because it's not easy to rejoice every time unless you know who you are in God. Can I get a witness here? And listen, oh God, go come through for you. Because I learned by experience that over the years, people's or individual perspective change. Whether they're your uncle, auntie, nephew, niece, cousin, son, daughter, grandpa. Over the years, people perspective. I'm preaching here today by the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. And what you hold and envision that, hey, it's going to be so. You better wake up. You better wake up. Because after a while, it comes right back to you. Then what were you doing? What were you doing all these years? <laughs> Is happy talking now, you know? What were you doing? If I was in your position, would have two cars and three houses. Uh, uh, you waste your time. Ain't got no time for you. Happy speak. Yes, preacher, just speak like that. Happy forgot. Happy have no recollection that happy is where happy is because of you. Because happy perspective change. That's why you have to love yourself. Do good to yourself. 
Feed yourself. I know I'm preaching right. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the life that God bless you to live and serve your God. And when you are to help, help as much as you can. But do not help down yourself. Can I get a witness here? Oh, glory to God. Yourself is important. Because if God using you as a vessel of honor, you want to take care of yourself. Oh God, if you are the only light in the family, why wouldn't you want to take care of yourself? So you can be around as long as God would have you to be around. Talk to me to help your family. Talk to me, church. Come on now. Paul said, rejoice, man. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Tell folks the Lord is at hand. He said, be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Prayer. Prayer is communication with God. Did he, did I say? He said, communicate with God all the time. And supplication is making requests. Tell God exactly what you need. Not that God don't know it, but he needs you to know if you truly know what you need. By prayer and supplication, talk to your God. Don't be anxious for no one thing. That's what the nothing there mean. Don't be anxious for no one thing. Because sometimes one thing causes you to be so anxious. Huh? And it don't mean that it's something that is happening. It don't mean it's something that you want. It could be like, like the variants are going around now. So people back up again. Yes, Lord. Yes. Get anxious. Yes. And when you go on and they're asking you, I go to get my cleaning yesterday. As I got in the chair, then this chair, the hygienist, did you get the, did you get the injection? I said, no. What happened? She's supposed to clean my teeth. She's not my doctor. What happened? I said, I'll talk to my doctor. I'll have a conversation with my doctor. Oh, did he say not to take it? I said, I'll talk to my doctor. I'll have a conversation with my doctor. She take up how much more? See them on. <laughs> I'm telling you. I should have a problem. My mouth opened wide and she's right over. Talk to me, church. But I'm walking by faith. I don't make decisions for you. I'm walking by faith. Can I get a witness in the house? I'm walking by faith. Hallelujah. 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 Because God still remain God. Be careful for nothing. So sometimes it's not something you want, but just stuff that's happening. You get frightened, you get nervous, you get anxious, you get everything is falling, and you keep hiding. No, we're not supposed to be idiots. But we can't let situation take us away. You know, I said to Prophet this morning, how amazing. This virus came along. And not only if you assess it, church, it disintegrates the church fellowship. Jesus. I said it's not even a long time. It's just over a year. And it disintegrates. It detached. I said, I said the church was so important and still is important. But this situation disintegrates and disconnects the fellowship, my God. Can I get a witness here? From pastors, the members, and even some Christians today have no desire or intention to put back their foot in a tabernacle. Pastors sold their building. God, walk away. My God, my God, my God, my God. Let us rejoice, rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Look what happened. Look what happened. Because fear rules the day in those people's life. It's close of fear take over. And church is important. The fellowship of the believers is important. Sometimes it's the house where folks come and get a good morning. 
It's the house where folks come and somebody smile with them all week. Nobody smile with them. It's the house where somebody come uh, and get a hug uh, and somebody put their arms around them uh, and say, good to see you. I love you. Uh, I appreciate you. All that is wiped out. And it's gone. Fear. Yet, the drunkard are still boozing. The pubs still open. Uh, it, they know how important the drink is to them. They got to get the drink. But wow, 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 wow. Ooh, come on, come on, Christians. <sighs> Look at it. Be anxious for nothing, for no one thing. And then church, the peace of God, which buys it all understanding, will keep you, keep your hearts from failing, man. Am I talking right? And your minds through Jesus Christ, the peace that God gave, that pass all understanding, where folks can't even fathom it out. It will keep you together. Huh? What did Deacon read this morning for the scripture? Isaiah, is it 41? Go back to Isaiah 41. Jesus of mercy. The peace of God. Which passeth all understanding. It will keep you. It will keep us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It will keep us. Oh, hallelujah. Do we have it? Keep silence before Thank you, me, O Ireland. Uh huh. And let the people renew their strength. And let the people renew their strength. And let them come near. And let them come near. Then let them speak. Then let them speak. Let us come near together. Let us to, come near together. To judgment. To judgment. Who raised up the righteous man from the east? Who raised up the righteous man from the east? Called him to his foot. Called him to his foot. Gave the nation before him. Gave the nation before him. And made him rule over kings. And made him rule over kings. He gave them as the dust to his sword. Uh huh. And is as driven um, stubble to his bow. Go ahead. He pursued them. Yes. And passed. Safely. Yes. Even by the way uh -huh. that he had not gone with, with his, his feet. feet. Read on. Who has wrought and done it. Uh huh. Called in the generations from the beginning. Uh huh. I, the Lord, the first. Hold on. I, the Lord, the first. Read on. And with the last. And with the last. I am E. I am E. The isles saw it uh -huh. and feared. Uh -huh. The ends of the earth were afraid. Uh -huh. Drew near and uh -huh. came. Mm -hmm. They helped everyone his neighbor. They helped everyone his neighbor. Everyone said to his brother. Everyone said to his brother. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. So the carpenter and Oh, church, come on, come on, come on. Everyone said to his brother. That's what we need to declare to one another. Be of good courage. And the Lord will strengthen your heart. I know you feel discouraged sometimes, but be of good courage. Everyone is helping one another. And the carpenter, what the carpenter do? So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith. The carpenter encouraged the goldsmith. And he that smoothed it with the hammer. And he that smoothed the hammer. Him that smote the anvil. And him that smote the saying, anvil. Saying, it is ready it for is ready for soldering. And he fastened it with nails. And he fastened it with nails. That it should not be that moved. That it should not be moved. Evangelist, help out the missionary. Missionary, help out the deacon. Encourage the deacon. Can I get a witness here? Deacon, encourage the deaconess. Brothers, encourage the sisters. Pastor, encourage the ministers. Ministers, encourage the bishop. Can I get a witness in the house? Everybody encouraging one another. We are in trouble time. But God said, I'm in trouble. Let my peace, let my joy remain in you. I'm in charge. We're too discouraging sometimes. Every time we open our mouth, it's words of discouragement. Can I get a witness here? Encourage one another. Read on, read on. This is so powerful. Read on. But thou Israel, but thou Israel, art my servant. You're my servant. Jer 
Jacob, whom I have chosen, Jacob, whom I have chosen the seed of Abraham, my the friend, seed of Abraham, my friend, thou whom I have taken from the ends I have of the taken earth, you from the ends of the earth. And called thee from the chief I call you from the chief men thereof. And, said unto thee, and I said unto thee, Thou art my servant. Take your time there. I said unto thee, Thou art my servant. Go ahead. I have chosen thee. You hear that? And not cast thee away. I say you are my servant. I, God, chose you. Talk to me here. You are my servant. What a word of encouragement. Read on. Of Fear assurance. Fear thou not. What did he say we should not do? Fear thou not. Fear thou not. For I am with thee. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. Woo! God of mercy. For I am thy God. Talk to me, church. Be not dismayed. Don't be afraid. And be not dismayed. For I am thy God. Read on. I will strengthen thee. Bishop will strengthen you. Missionary will strengthen you. Prophetess will strengthen you. I need strength for myself. God said, I will strengthen you. I, God, I will strengthen you. Read on. Yea, I will help you. I will help you. Read on. Yea, I will uphold you. I will uphold you. I'll strengthen you. I'll help you. I'll uphold you. My With the God. right hand of my righteousness. With the right hand of my righteousness. Oh, that's God speaking. I will do it. Read on. Behold, all Behold. they that were incensed against thee uh -huh. shall be ashamed and confounded. Do you hear that? They shall be as nothing. Woo! And they that strive with thee shall hey. perish. Read on. Thou shalt seek, seek them, them and, and shalt not, find, not them. find them. Even them that contend, contend with thee, thee they, they that, that war against thee shall be as nothing, nothing and as a thing of, of naught. Read on. I, the Lord thy God, For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right, will hand, hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, saying unto thee fear, not, fear not, I will help thee. I will, oh, come on, he called a I will hold your right hand. Ah, I will use my hand of power and I will hold your right hand. I am your God and I shall fear not. You will not go alone. I will hold your right hand. Put your hands together and tell the Lord thank you. Read a little more there. I will help thee. Fear I will help not. You. Fear not. Thou, uh, uh, as warm. As worm, as the Jacob, worm, Jacob, as, yeah, and he and meant, he of, meant Israel, of Israel, I will I help thee, said the, the Lord, Lord thy Redeemer, the, the Holy One, one of Israel. Israel. Jesus, 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 I will help thee. When you go home, read the rest, my God. Can I get a witness here? Don't be afraid. I will hold you by the right hand. I will use my right hand of power and I will embrace you. My rod and my staff, they will comfort you. Listen me, church. We must understand. He said, yea, though I walk, get up on the valley. He didn't say he must sit in the valley. He said, walk through the valley. Get on the valley. You sit on in the valley. Get up. You stop in the valley. Walk. Walk. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Go through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For thou art, for thou art with me. It's a dangerous place to stop in the valley. Keep calling our vocals. Keep walking. Keep walking. Tell your neighbor, keep walking. Keep walking. Hey, yeah, 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 keep walking. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Hallelujah. Behold, I'll make thee a new sharp threshing instrument. Having teeth, thou shalt thresh the mountain and beat them smallest and shall make the hills as chaff. God said, I'm here. I'm not leaving you. I'm right here. Have no fear because Jehovah is here. Can I get a witness here? For I'm not giving this spirit of fear, but a power. But of love and a son. So let's get rid of happy. Defeat happy. And let the joy of the Lord. David says I was strength. Can I get a witness here? Don't let no devil steal your joy. Because your joy is what keeps you. When everything else forsake you. 
the joy of the Lord become your source and your strength to survive, to overcome, to live, to see another day, to bless the Lord one more time. Don't let nobody fool you. When you feel cast down, it's your joy in the Lord that strengthen you and let you cry out, why are thou cast down? Oh my soul, why are thou disquieted within me? Hope, hope, though in God, godliness with contentment is great can satisfy, satisfy, satisfy with what you have. Bless God for where you are. Believe him to take you further for the next step is in the hands of God. The next move is in the hands of God. But satisfy and give God glory. Satisfy. I learn in verse 11 of Philippians 4, he said, I learn in whatever state I am to be content. You see, when you have joy and you rejoice in whatever state you find yourself, you say, God, I bless your name. Yes. Huh? Can I get a witness here? Yes. I bless your name, God. Oh, hallelujah. Because we have to learn not to let discontent take us over. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Discontent show up anytime. I don't care how safe you are. Discontent will show up. Yes. Talk to me here. And let me tell you something. One of the silent discontent that is showing up and shows up so often, especially in this time and age, is the discontent of being dissatisfied with ourselves. In the age of beauty. We're not happy no more. We do we are. It's true. I said I didn't like my teeth, them twist around. And I wanted to straighten out. Yeah. <laughs> and I went and took about three years to get them straightened. Wear Invisalign and braces and what. And they come around a little bit. Mouth feel like it's not my mouth. <laughs> but after a while, my mouth get used to it. And they wired it up and said, oh, I gave you a lifetime. Oh. I retained something to hold the bottom uh, teeth together. Guess what? Oh, two years in our tree, you know, it burst. It burst, and I didn't even know it burst. After I felt my mouth feeling like it going back to what it was. Start looking in the mirror and look behind it. It burst. God put your teeth them, and how him fix them, some say they must stay. <laughs> now I have to go, go back for them to wire them again. Talk to me here. And fix them. My point is, when God fix it, it will fix. You didn't hear what I say. <laughs> huh? I'm preaching, and I said, because every talk I talk, my tongue is rubbing. My tongue is rubbing on the wire. That's behind the teeth. Talk to me here. Very uncomfortable. But thank God for the Holy Ghost. Listen to me, church. In the age of beauty, we're not contented. We're not contented. We want all kind of stuff. Injection in your lip. Injection under your eye. Injection. Oh God Almighty. No, no. But, but I'm not true me a talk. But, but I'm telling you, we become discontent. Injection over here, so you can't quit. It's a good. I'm not trying to knock anybody. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just being real here. I'm telling you, it's true. And I'm not saying you shouldn't look about yourself and take care of it. I'm just saying we're so discontent with ourselves, with our hair, with our nails, with everything about us. We're just so discontent. Because society let us believe that we are not fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. Can I get a witness here? So, it's serious. It, I'm, I'm not saying we should take care of ourselves and treat ourselves right and look after ourselves. And the, the knowledge that God gave man to make different things, cream and all that kind of stuff, we should use them. And, and then this is what I'm talking about. But they get off a board. Somebody not happy with their breast, that they, they go and cut it open and put some plastic bag in there, fill up with water. And they... <laughs> but, but, but it's true. Discontent. It is true. And, well, am I preaching something wrong? They're not happy with the butt. They go and put a forest butt on. They're not happy with the, uh, all kind of stuff. You don't even know who is who now. You don't know who got muscle from who now have muscle. You don't know who. Are... Discontent. 
with how God created us. And those stuff are causing a lot of problems today. Sometimes they burst the leak. Up. Church, I can tell you right now, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a plastic surgeon, I don't know nothing about the medical field in those areas. I'm a novice, but I can tell you right now. If you think you're going to take out one fat from right here, sir, and from here, sir, and put it up here, sir. And if you fool yourself and, and believe that where you take it from, it going to remain the same, you make a sad mistake. You make a sad mistake. Some of us, no man on hurt can fix us. It's in our genes. It's in our family. And so we come and so we are going to Jesus. You don't hear what I say? It's nothing to do with food you eat. Or what I just saw we steal. Can I get a witness here? Look at my mama. Her mom, when she was a, was a tiny woman. And look at her. All these years. Instead of she put on the way, she take it off. It's in the genes. I don't know if any sister or brother of her that is bigger. No, it's in the genes. They're all tiny people. Can I get a witness here? So no matter what we do or what we say, after a while, they're coming out. So let us be content. Take care of yourself. Eat right. Diet if you have to eat the right food. But stop wasting your time. And then maybe we should take care of them. Now we put false one out. I'm not preaching against it. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. And it is so bad till even the 10 year old and the 12 years old young lady, young girls, parents put it on them. They don't even reach nowhere yet. You know, after a while, what's going to happen to your real nail? I'm telling you. Because we are so obsessed with beauty. Not content. God said, I'm with you, man. Stand with me, I'm with you. Don't worry about it. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. But rejoice. We have more than enough to give God thanks for. We're on our way to that celestial city. We are, come on, put your hands together. We're on our way to glory. And the journey gets sweeter every day. All that's going on, Jesus said it will happen. And there are some stuff that's going on. That man is putting into haste. But we go pray. And we go believe God. Because when the church pray, the Lord have his way. Can I get a witness here? Nobody can push God's hands. He's going to use his hands when he chose to. Can I get a witness here? So church, rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, rejoice. For this robe of flesh shall drop and rise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you're concerned about how you look now, while you're alive, no worry about it. Because some of the prettiest people miss see are dead people. And they look at them in the casket, my God. If they was pretty like that before, they'd have married 20 times. If they were so handsome, they wouldn't be able to serve. So no worry. How you look now? Because they're mortician. When they're done with you, in the casket. And put you down. Everybody forgets that you're dead. They say, look by yourself. I can't stop. But while we have life, we have hope. Let us eat. Praise the Lord. Give God the glory. Give God the honor. Give God the praise. And tell happy, he's fired. Happy, you're fired. No more. Let joy of the Lord reign in your heart. Come on and put your hands together. Tell Lord, thank you. We thank you for tuning in today. God bless you. Hope you tune in next week again. And let the Lord have his way in your life. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for your people all across this land, all across the world, wherever they are watching today. Those who need to be saved, save them. Those who need to be delivered, deliver them. Those who need to be set free, God set them free. Thank you for your healing touch, your salvation touch. And thank you for your power. We thank you for the saints that are at home. We pray you touch them even now. Pour out God Almighty and heal and restore. Bring home deliverance and victory. In Jesus' name. 
in Jesus' name. Come on and put your hands together. God bless you. See you next week as you tune in one more time to the Hour of Faith broadcast. Come on and give God the glory.